असलम एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई चैनल इरम्स किचन होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग ग्रेट इफ़ यू लाइक माई रेसिपीज प्लीज लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब एंड हिट द बेल्स आइकन टू गेट नोटिफिकेशन ऑन न्यू वीडियोज वेलकम बैक एवरी वन टूडेज रेसिपी इज स्पाइसी चटीनाड क्रैब्स लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट टू मेक स्पाइसी चटीनाड क्रैब्स वी आर गोइंग टू नीड वन के जी ब्लू क्रैब्स थ्री लार्ज ऑनियंस चॉप्ड Four large tomatoes, roughly chopped. One and a half tablespoon of red chili powder. One and a half tablespoon of black pepper powder. Half a teaspoon of turmeric. Half a teaspoon of garam masala. Two tablespoons of ginger garlic paste. One cup of chopped coriander leaf. Four green chilies. Few mint leaves. Half a cup of yogurt. Quarter cup of oil. Juice of a lemon, and salt for taste. Now let's start making our spicy chutneyard crabs. To a heated pan, we are going to add approximately quarter cup of oil. Now once the oil is hot, we are going to add our chopped onions. Give it a stir. We just want to sweat them so they turn this nice translucent color we don't want them brown or we don't want them to turn a golden brown we just want them translucent see how our onions are nicely coming along they have turned a nice translucent now we will add the ginger garlic paste cook it for a few seconds so that the raw smell of it goes away Once that's done, we'll add our dry spices: red chili powder, black pepper powder, turmeric, and garam masala powder. Stir it well. Now it's time to add the tomatoes. Now we are going to cook these tomatoes till they are nicely combined with the onions and the spices they need to completely melt see the tomatoes are nicely coming along let's stir it a little if you see that the masala is sticking to the bottom of the pan add a splash of water not too much just quarter of a cup because we want this masala on a thicker side because when we add our crabs they will release their own juices and it will turn the masala into a gravy consistency see the masala is not sticking to the pan now let's cook the tomatoes a little more see now that our tomatoes are completely cooked and dissolved with the masala see how thick the consistency is remember we just used quarter of a cup of water to get this desired result now at this stage we are going to add the coriander leaves green chilies and mint leaves lemon juice give it a nice mix see the masala is beautifully coming along now at this point we will add the yogurt and give it a nice mix we do not want any lumps to form now we are going to cook this for a couple of minutes till we see the oil starting to rise from the masala See now the oil has started rising up can you see now we add our salt give it a mix now let's cook this for a couple of minutes say approximately 3 to 5 minutes now our masala is completely cooked it is done see how beautifully it has turned out look at the color 
Well, now comes the hard part, <laughs> the taste test. To check if it needs some more salt or a little more lemon juice to give it that some extra tang. But that tastes delicious. But I think it needs a little more salt. Now give it a mix. You see how thick the masala is? We need this because you are going to see as I add the crabs, they are going to change color and turn this lovely shade of red from their natural blue. As I tell my kids, it's like magic. And they will release their own juices which will give the masala a gravy feel. Now let's add the crabs. We are going to toss these crabs around in the pan and nicely coat them with the masala. We are going to do this on a medium low flame. Now the crabs have been cooking for 2 to 3 minutes. To check if everything is fine at the bottom of the pan and the masala is not sticking, give a toss to these crabs. See, they are changing color now. Let's cover them up and we'll check them after another 4 to 5 minutes. Now the crabs have been cooking for approximately 5 minutes. Let's open the lid and have a look. Oh, that smells awesome. Look how beautiful they look. All the crabs have turned red. And see, there is so much gravy down there. Let's give them a toss and coat them in that gravy goodness. Now at this point, the crabs are 95% done. If you want to enjoy them, with a side of naan or bread or some rice then just cook them for five more minutes on a high flame and they will be ready to serve whereas in my family we just like to go freak on just the crabs so i am gonna cook them for 10 more minutes to get my desired result i have been cooking these for 10 minutes the gravy is reduced. Oh my God, they look so tasty and yum. And don't even get me started on how mouth-watering it smells. Our spicy chutney crabs are ready to serve. There you have it. Spicy chutney crabs. Garnished with a few slices of lemon, few juliennes of ginger, and a sprinkle of coriander leaves. I hope you all like my recipe. Make it at home. Enjoy it with your family, your friends, and your loved ones. Until we meet again with another delicious recipe, this is Iram wishing you all a safe and fabulous week. Please, please, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.